Hello everyone. In case you don't know me, my name is Mr Kelly and I teach economics and business in the high school. But I'm also part of the team that helped to oversee the extended essay project. Now it's a unique part of your diploma and it's a great opportunity because you get to really shape and design your own project from the very start to the very end. There are rules and guidance that you have to follow and deadlines you have to meet, but worry about that later. This early bird challenge is there to get you thinking. More of that in a moment, but I want you to think of the whole EE as your chance to be a university professor. You're going to design your own research question, put forward your conclusion based upon the high quality research that you've carried out and you're going to defend your conclusions. Why should anybody listen to you? You need to be able to be credible and, and, and tell us why you should be believed. So when you think about it, it's awesome. You get to design it, right? It's also a year long, and that might be the longest single project you have in that, in that diploma. It's an indication of the time, patience, and and careful thought that needs to go into this research project to do it well. And the skills you learn are fantastic for university. So don't worry about the technical details for now, but let's take a look at the early bird challenge and the tasks that you are, or just might do. Now you may have downloaded it already, or you can come and pick up a printed copy from me, but the early bird challenge has four main tasks. And they're big, they're, they're, they're there to get you to think, right? I want you to really pursue your passion, your passions. I want you to explore the opportunities, the potential, make connections between ideas and start conversations with your teachers, okay? Um, don't rush your ideas either. Let them, let them grow overnight, over a week. We're not going to meet all together until early October. And by then you still aren't going to have any answers, true definitive answers. So, so embrace the idea that things aren't quite sure yet, right? You're just getting your ideas in place. Um, it's not collected and not, not graded either. So don't let it worry you. Um, get things wrong. Just take a risk. Put crazy ideas down and make those better and um, enjoy it, you know, enjoy this opportunity to design exactly what it is you want to explore. Now, if you're really desperate to understand the nuance and the technical aspects and the deadlines of the extended essay, then go ahead, take a little poke around our new website, ee.isb.ac.th, and, and, and check it out, right? There's loads of resources, but it's a very new and young website. I'm, I'm making it better every day and every week, so there'll be gaps and mistakes that I'm going to try and fix over time. But, but come and see me if you have any questions. And certainly don't let all those technical aspects get on top of you because we can break it down and make it easier later. So I'm in room 311. You're welcome to come and drop by or even send me an email anytime you like. Good luck.